comic, uh, let's see who we got next. Oh shit, our next comic is a comic, a writer, a lyricist, a rapper, a DJ, an Evan and a Shaffron. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Evan Shaffron. Yeah, Sunday punchline. Keep it going for your beautiful house. That uh, I'm gonna take my jacket off here. I'm gonna jack it off for you guys. I'm gonna jack it off in front of you guys. I don't always do this. I do on Sundays though. I jack it off in front of the audience. Um, do you guys like Dunkin' Donuts? Big fan. I'm a big fan of Dunkin' Donuts. I grew up on the East Coast. The Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. A lot of East Coasters here, all right? Um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of Dunkin' Donuts, you know, you, you go in, you order your coffee, uh, you tell them how you want it, they make it for you. Not like Starbucks, if you, you, you know, you, you have to make it yourself. There's like cream that's been sitting out all day over there. So my dad goes into Dunkin' Donuts and he hands him his mug, reusable mug, because we like to, you know, save the world, one cup of coffee at a time. Cream only, hands him the mug and the lovely person behind the counter hands him back a mug full of cream. And this is a true story. Um, so he takes a sip, he goes, what, what, what the fuck, I just drank a bunch of cream. So he goes, I'm sorry, uh, I, you gave me just cream. I think you accidentally gave me cream only. <laughs> you said cream only. Uh, anyway, I'm just, I'm never, <laughs> It never ceases to amaze me, the, the genius of people that work at fast food restaurants. You don't need a high school diploma to work there. Um, you don't need one to work here either. But, uh, I mean here on the stage. You might need one to work back there, I don't know. But um, We don't need them, actors don't need them. But you definitely don't need them to work at a fast food chain. Uh, my dad also told me he uh, is a big burger fan. He went into Burger King to get a two-for-one Whopper special. So he asked them to put the Whopper together, and they said, they, I, I, we can't do that, I'm sorry. He goes, why can't you do that? Why, you just put them together. There's, well, there's no button for that. There's no button for that? Holy fuck, anyway. Uh, it's pretty much the same way I feel about people on the highway who don't signal or who drive slow. I don't get angry very often, but when I do, I want to drive my car into people. I, I don't because I like my car um, and I don't want to hurt anybody, but, but it definitely aggravates me to the point of insanity. Um, some people's stupidity. I, I've done a lot of stupid shit, don't get me wrong. I am not perfect by any means, uh, but I do feel like, you know, when I'm on the road with my Dunkin' Donuts, I feel like I am the best driver on the road. I don't know if anyone else feels like they're the best driver on the road whenever they're on the road. No? No one? I do. I, maybe that's just something I gotta work on, but someone, one person, maybe you're, that was a pity clap. Um, could be. Um, you know, I, I'm really interested in uh, order, the way things happen, the order of things. Uh, I noticed the other day I was called in alphabetical order, and that to me is something that really needs to change in the world. My last name is an S, it's Shaffron, so my entire life I've been in the middle towards the end. And there's a lot of S last names. It's like, you know, S-A all the way to S-H. There's a lot of S names in there. So it's a lot of waiting. I don't like to wait. I fucking hate lines. Anyone else hate lines? Yeah, lines are terrible. I don't even like cocaine lines because there's fentanyl in there now. So it's true. Um, you know, the thing about alphabetical order is it just, it's somebody whose last name started with an A must have been like, this is the way it's going to go um, first. My name starts with an A, it's the first letter in the alphabet, done. And then the Z person over there was like, you're a fucking cocksucker. Uh, my point is, is that why, why don't we start with Z? Why don't we start with like, you know, birthdays? Sometimes you're in a room, someone goes, we're gonna figure out how to split this room up. Raise your hand if you were born in January. You know, January people go over there. You know, it's just, it's not right. We should do it based off whether people are ugly or really attractive. 
I think that's the best way to do it because then it's really easy. Then we get to see too how people view other people physically, you know? How, how do you see this person? You think that person's ugly? No, that person's ugly. You know, just an idea. Also, I think it's really interesting. They say in 500 years, there'll be one race. I can't wait. You know how sexy we're gonna be? All the races together, just one race? The white supremacists are really angry with this, but I think it's amazing. One race, then everyone will slow down. There won't be any race at all. Just chilling. Zero race, one race. It's gonna be a good one. Then we'll argue over toenails. That person has longer toenails. Make all the long toenail people live over there. Make all the people with four toes, uh, all the people that were born with deformities, they're still gonna have to live over there. We're fucked up, humans are fucked up. I do believe in the good of humans, in the good of the human race. I believe that we are inherently good. I just feel like uh, religion and money just ruined everything. So we should love each other more. That's my point. Love each other more, masturbate. If you don't masturbate, gotta clean out the matzo balls and the ladle, scoop out the cream of the soup. Anyway, I don't know. Trying things. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, my name is Evan Shaffron and I really appreciate you all. Thank you. Happy New Year. Reverend Chaffin, everybody. Not hard to clap for people, right?